Taurus, welcome in. This is a look at the year ahead. 2023, how is it going to be looking for you? I am Empath Joe. Let's do this. We're going to have an angel message for you first. What's the overall message for the year 2023? We don't waste time here, Scorpios. Why am I calling you Scorpios? Taurus. Taurus. Yes. So let's get an angel message for the year 2023. Thank you. And the message is honesty. Ooh, interesting. Angel wisdom reminds you that your every thought, word, emotion and action is reflected in your aura. We see you, Taurus, or you see them. Okay, uh, please do pause the video or screenshot to read the rest of your angel message. Thank you. Okay, moving into the tarot, we are just going to do a general spread for you here. Taurus and then we're going to look at your month to month for the year 2023 so what's the overall message please what's the general message for the year 2023 for our wonderful Taurus yes what do Taurus need to know what's going to be most significant in the year 2023 for Taurus look at that change we got the death card we also got the devil in reverse so you're outgrowing something some of you outgrowing bad habits more than likely could be addictions setting yourself free from a toxic situation so many things i feel like you're going to be seeing the truth of a situation and that brings in a, a lot of changes tell me more tell me more please about taurus look at that there you go eight of pentacles more work focus more work pace base perhaps you're uh for some of you you're you're realizing that you're putting in most of the work to a situation and that's a big that's a huge awakening you're seeing it more so feeling it the strains and this could be even financially but you're taking your energy out of that you're taking your energy back taking your power back for many of you like i said honesty you're being honest with yourself and others perhaps you're seeing the honest side of somebody just now okay moving on tell me more about this situation or anything else taurus may need to know thank you so we have here the chariot we also have the knight of cups Taurus, you are damn. Whatever revelation you've had, yeah, whatever's brought in that change, I feel like it's it's the seeing. It's the seeing. You may have even had one dream and that was it. That was enough clarity for you. But yeah, taking back your power in some way or another, I think you're just moving forward. Taking what you have left. For some of you, this could possibly be a partner. It, it could be a family member. It could even be your child. It's like you've kind of been drained... In, in the financial department yeah once you've taken that money away for those of you that have stayed in this once you've taken the money away and all you have left is your cup perhaps they don't even want that and that's how you see the honesty but let's read on over giving uh, some of you there you go look king of cups yeah judgment and also the hierophant yeah somebody's gonna have to own up someone's going to have to be honest as much as you are being honest with yourself here taurus i feel like you're going into the year with no bs zero bs it's like i've got my cup of love you either take that and leave my pockets alone or move on but you've had the clarity you need and this is more of a spiritual thing for you i do feel like there's an awakening coming as well from this once you stand your ground. And that's happening very, very quickly in the year. It, it could be that, you know, you were in some kind of abusive, even addicted, addictive cycle. And this could have been in the way of drugs. Yeah, it could have been in the way of porn. It could have been in the way of sex. It could be anything that you are doing too much of. But it's with another person. Absolutely. And, and this was the, uh, let me say it right here, Taurus. That was the bond. That's what kept the connection together these are dis ad addictions these lies the lack of honesty between you yeah? it's like a trauma bond i'm feeling quite comfortable there for a while but you woke up taurus you woke up you had the clarity that you need and it's like oh, no hell no and jumped straight into this spiritual awakening if all i had to give was love would you still ride for me the way you do and this is something where you are this is the path you've been guided on and that's how you take your power back because you are on the, the right path. For those of you that are wondering, yes, you are on the right path. That's why you're able to have this strength and say, listen, 
her life. You take the love or there's nothing there. What's there? If I remove the finances, what the hell is there? And I think you start to see that you're the one that was giving more, even emotionally. Sweet on Taurus. Tell me more. What else does Taurus need to know about the year 2023? For their highest good. Thank you. So we have here Seven of Cups. And we also have the Emperor. Somebody could have been very controlling. And that's why you are now taking your power back. Somebody could have been, absolutely. See, we got the Knight of Swords. This is very, very quickly. So like somebody being able to blindside you very quickly and easily as well. It could be that, you know, your person had many options. Yeah? Or if this is your, a child for some of you. If, if, they ha if they, you were one of their options, put it that way. And you found out, and I just want to say from a perspective of you being a mother or this being your nephew, niece, whatever this be. There was multiple options for them to get these finances. So it wasn't only coming from you. Very controlling, very manipulative. And I know the emperor's in the upright, but that's how the energy feels. Yeah. And very quickly, you notice. Very quickly, the spark died. Once you connected the dots, the spark died. It wasn't there anymore. Ace of Wands. That spark that once was there is not there now. I feel like, um, you know, a lot of people may see your decision, your choice, how you chose to dealt with this, deal with this as impulsive. I'm just getting that energy of, I do not care. I'm doing this for me, for my highest good. There is no spark there and I'm going to prove it. And if that's your way of proving it, so be it. Anything else uh, Taurus may need to know about the year 2023? look at this yeah hanging on to your coins tight <laughs> blimey ace of pentacles i think you start to see a better and more improvement in your money very little given very little given if you haven't done this yet my advice would be to quick carry up fast yeah because someone's going to get blocked as well from this somebody's going to get blocked you start to realize how powerful you are just by yourself how much you have to give in love financially however this is for you but you're not going to give it here you take what little i'm offering and, and that's your way of testing this person these people is by giving the bare minimum it can grow it can get to the ace of pentacles but for you it's like i'm going to give this and see what happens and i think as soon as you notice it block or your guards come completely up and that's how you choose to take back your power one day you're given the world yeah and then the next day that's why it seems so impulsive the next day it's like no sorry I'm, I'm broke i haven't got it when in actual fact the people or the person that was taking from you knows differently but you're just showing them this is how powerful i am if i stop feeding this this dead-ended connection which it more than likely possibly is you yourself will see there's nothing there and, you, and you're not trying to be a part of that Okay, jerky. Let's have a look at your month to month Scorpio. Oh, I keep going to call you Scorpios. <laughs> your month to month Taurus. Let's have a look. Okay, starting with January and we'll continue on. So show me January for Taurus. January 2023 for Taurus, please. What does January 2023 look like for Taurus? Thank you. So we have uh, Ace of Wands. February. We've got the Death card. Ten of Pentacles, March. Here we are. Look, Queen of Swords. Interesting, because it starts off the year starts off beautiful, happy New Year, all of the hugs and kisses and champagne, all of that good stuff. Come February, that's where the change happens. Perhaps there's something you see at New Year's. Perhaps you see a spark in your person that you've never seen before, and this may be with another, or you see the same thing happening with another. Something that you are seeing. This is something that you see come January. And that brings in the change. February, we got the Death card and we got the Ten of Pentacles. Definitely something to do with your finances or even a home, a home situation. Come March, you're standing on your ground. Queen of Swords, your guards are up. So th this is where you're trying to figure out. This is where you're finding your feet. Like, right, what am I going to do? I know I'm not going to give financially because I've seen what I've seen. I can't unsee that. That's March. Come at April, please. April 2023 for Taurus, thank you. There you go, look, in your head like down, can't believe it. May. 
celebrating some kind of victory even june ace of pentacles we're back again back again with the ace of pentacles and this is a complete different deck but uh yes april in your head this is sifting through and you've put yourself in this place and, and that's the way to heal. You've got to feel. And I think this is just feeling. Feeling your person out. More so the realisation. Like what you did see is true. What you are feeling is true. About this person or persons even. Even if it's about yourself. It is absolutely true. I do feel like because you're stuck in your head for a bit. You may even choose to uh, reignite the flame. Reignite the flame. And this is you running tests. It feels more so that you're running tests. That's May. June. Here's that pentacle. This is the universe guiding you even. More often this is looked at as a reward. I feel like the universe is guiding you to go through. Go through here because it's better on the other side than what's here. This gathering, this person may have got you to, because uh, we did have the devil energy in your general, where that, that, that could be the addictions, could have you on the party scene a lot, out drinking a lot, socialising a lot, and that's where the finances go. Most of the time it could be that, and it's like, go this way. My dear Taurus, come with me this way. Look at this, what I've got for you here. But you can't see that because your mind is filled up with all the nonsense that has been happening. <sighs> That's June for you. So let's have a look at July, August, September. I'll tell you about July 2023 for Taurus, please. We've got a few here. So July, we've got the Strength card. That's Leo energy. We also got the Queen of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. And we have the Six of Pentacles and the hermit okay so this is just july alone so lots of energy coming in for the month of july this is where you're going to have to hold back from the things that you are used to doing the things that you got comfortable doing more than likely the addictions and the more you hold back especially from investing financially the more your person holds back emotionally and that is more confirmation for you that's more confirmation that there is not an equal give and take no, that's not how it was. That was something that was made up by you. You were providing. Uh, we also have the hermit here. Deep soul searching. The realisation. This is going within. You may even choose in the month of uh, July to kind of take yourself away from people. Like be, sit with yourself for a bit. And this is to really understand. Like, okay, so this has happened. Where am I going now? Furthermore, why did I get into this situation? What was it? What was the catalyst that got me here in the first place? So much thoughts. It's very, very much deep, deep soul searching. That's July. Show me August. Show me August. Yeah, rest period. Show me September 2023, please, for Taurus. Show me September. Thank you. September here, new start. Everything that uh, was unseen is now being seen. You, you know, the path that you want to lead. And this is that stripping stripping of the past version of that version of yourself that's september but august this is the release this is the rest period it may even be that you go on holiday and it's just more deep soul searching praying manifesting even okay october 2023 for taurus please october 2023 for taurus thank you we have interesting because we got the ace of swords we got the two of pentacles in reverse and we also got the five of cups in reverse so it's coming out of sadness okay it's happened yeah yeah whatever let's look at the truth and i think that's why you have such a down time and that's spread across two months it's like a holiday from work and then a physical holiday as well but a lot of it is going to be for your peace i feel like I'm, I, I can literally hear you saying i just want to be alone you just want to be alone with your thoughts and it's all for good, all for your highest good. Because look how you're coming in here in September. Clean, fresh, a whole new world, a new start. Without the nonsense. Yeah? October. This is truth. This is living your truth. Walking in your truth. No shame, no blame. Is what it is. Doing you. November, please. November. The moon. I just want to get one more card for November. One more card for November 2023 for Taurus, please. November 2023, thank you. I've got two. We'll take them. We've got the moon, we've got the seven of pentacles, and we also got the page of pentacles. So somebody, it, it, it does feel like somebody coming back around here. Look, 
This is that self, and it's more than likely somebody self-sabotaging themselves. They come with something. They come with an offer. Very small. But it, it, this, there's an intention behind this. This is the month of November. There's an intention behind this. It's, it's almost like they come with an offer of something, with the promise of it growing or going into something. But you know different. This is what you see when this person presents themselves. Yeah? You see behind the mask. The moon. Secrets. Lies even. In, in this case, it feels that way. You see behind that. Even though they come presented as this page, you are not at page level. Anymore. Having been through this, acknowledged the lesson, taken the lesson and applying it, when this arrives, this is what you see. Sneaky. Sneaky behaviour. Somebody not telling the truth. Hiding behind lies. And that's all you're going to see. So I don't think that's going to go anywhere. But um, they will be acknowledged in some way or another. Uh, December. December 2023 for um, our lovely Taurus. What does December 2023 look like? There we are, look. And what I say about this spiritual awakening, I did mention that earlier and on the bottom of the deck, we've got the star. So it does feel like a lot of healing. Yeah, A lot of... It's like a spiritual awakening. Yeah, Getting more in tune with your spiritual side. So in other words, getting grounded. Understanding yourself on a deeper level. Understanding people on a deeper, deeper level. I just feel like you're going to be very, very quiet. Much more quiet than you, you previously were. And this is because you're now ready to take these lessons on, to transform and become a better version of yourself here, Taurus. 2023 doesn't look too bad to me. There's lots of challenges. But uh, yes, I was going to say, let me get you an Oracle card. I will pull one more. Uh, but we've got a hedgehog love. Positive, uplifting, new friends. Yeah. And if I could predict when this will be happening for you, it would probably be around the month of September, October. Yeah. And, and these people... This, these new positive uplifting new friends they come into your life to remind you of what you deserve in life whether it be from a platonic friendship or family yeah romantic they remind you so that's why when this person pops back up again because it does feel like a returning person all you see is the, the sabotage all you see is is the downhill the life going downhill for you if you accept them back into your life you don't see what's presented because you know it's a lie uh, one more card, please. One more oracle card. Thank you. There we are. Look, the serpentine path to power. So yeah, you you might have had a snake around. It's fine. We can throw them off. We can remove them safely. Set healthy boundaries. Put the put a guard up. <laughs> electric fence so they don't come in again. You know. But yes, it's been a slippery, slippery, slidey road towards your power, towards your spiritual side, and to stay there. But. You get there in the end, uh, Taurus. It's been a beautiful read. I've quite enjoyed that one. That has been your reading, Taurus, for the year 2023. Please only take what resonates, leave the rest. If it has resonated, hit the like button, guys. Come on, show some love. And of course, feel absolutely free to subscribe. But from your favourite empath, it is peace, love and prosperity. From me, have a beautiful, blessed day, guys, and take care.